Today I'm going to read one of my favorite books, Mr. Gumpy's Outing. Before we start this story, I want to invite you to play along with me. You can use something like a big box, a basket, or like me, a big cushion to use as a boat for this story. During the story, some animals are going to get in the boat with you. You want to have eight stuffed animals you can play along. Some of the animals that are in the story include a goat, a calf, a chicken, a sheep, a pig, a dog, a cat, and a rabbit. If you don't have those same animals, that's okay. You can just pretend. Just remember you'll need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stuffed animals. You can pause this video and go get what you need. All right, you're ready to play along. We're gonna do Mr. Gumpy's outing. It's okay to just listen to the story too. Mr. Gumpy's outing by John Birmingham. This is Mr. Gumpy. Mr. Gumpy owned a boat and his house was by a river. One day, Mr. Gumpy went out in his boat. You're playing along with me. It's time to get in your boat. May we come with you, said the children. Yes, said Mr. Gumpy. If you don't, squabble. All right, we can't squabble in our boats. That means you've got to stay in your boat. Can I come along, Mr. Gumpy, said the rabbit. Yes, but don't hop about. All right, get your rabbit. Make sure that rabbit doesn't hop. I'd like a ride, said the cat. Very well, said Mr. Gumpy, but you're not to chase the rabbit. All right, get your cat. Bring it into the boat and make sure it doesn't chase the rabbit. Will you take me with you, said the dog. Yes, said Mr. Gumpy, but don't tease the cat. All right, get your dog into your boat. And it is not to chase the cat. Oh, not to tease the cat. May I come, please, Mr. Gumpy, said the pig. Very well, but don't muck about. Get your pig, put it in your boat. Have you a place for me, said the sheep? Yes, but don't keep bleating. Get your sheep. Can we come too, said the chickens. Yes, but don't flap, said Mr. Gumpy. All right, grab your chickens. Make sure to hold down their feathers. Put them in your boat and remind them not to flap. Can you make room for me, said the calf. Yes, if you don't trample about. All right, get your cow into your boat. And make sure it doesn't trample. May I join you, Mr. Gumpy, said the goat. Very well, but don't kick. All right, get your goat into your boat. Goat in boat, they rhyme. For a little while, they all went along happily, but then 
the goat kicked, the calf trampled, the chickens flapped, the sheep bleated, the pig mucked about, the dog teased the cat, the cat chased the rabbit, the rabbit hopped, the children squabbled, the boat tipped. Oh, your boat is tipping, be careful. And into the water they fell. Did you fall out of your boat? Then Mr. Gumpy and the goat and the calf and the chickens and the sheep and the pig and the dog and the cat and the rabbit and the children all swam to the bank and climbed out to dry in the hot sun. We'll walk home across the field, said Mr. Gumpy. It's time for tea. And there they all went, following Mr. Gumpy for a cup of tea. You can see in this illustration here, they're all having tea together. And after tea, Mr. Gumpy said, Goodbye. Come for a ride another day. Hopefully after this story, you can have a grown-up in your house help you make a cup of tea. All right, bye for now. And lots to have tea.